Very impressive takeoff sequence. Uh, using full reheat into the vertical, two rolls up, three rolls coming down. Hundred and thirty-eight EF two thousands currently in Luftwaffe service across four wings, stationed at Lager, Nervenich and Wittmundhafen, as well as Neuburg, where this aircraft comes from. Having just demonstrated the full G capability, a 9G snap turn there, going through 9G in approximately four seconds, the aircraft now slowing uh, for the slow flight demonstration at approximately 120 knots. Now we're talking a lot, of course, about the NATO 75th anniversary across this show, and we'll do so even more later. But one of the commitments that NATO is so much involved in at the moment is Baltic air policing, providing air defence for the three Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania in the face of increasing Russian threats. And March 2023 saw Luftwaffe TIE Eurofighter to EF 2000s joining their RAF Eurofighter Typhoon counterparts from number nine squadron in the first dual force Baltic air policing quick reaction alert sortie that had been mounted between those two nations. And their quarry on that occasion came in the form of a Russian Air Force Illusion Il-78 Midas tanker and an Antonov An-148 transport over the Baltic Sea. The Germans are buying more typhoons to show signs of their commitment to NATO in the face of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and 15 of them are going to be modified. Out of the existing fleet for the electronic combat role, replacing the tornado ECR in providing SEAD, suppression of enemy air defences.
of course, Germany very much involved in the uh, development of Eurofighter. Two of the seven uh, development aircraft were produced in Germany, DA-1, looking at handling characteristics and engine performance, and DA-5, looking at radar and avionics development, ultimately being developed to uh, the tranche two standard we're familiar with in the Royal Air Force. And uh, to quote one of the pilots that were involved in that multinational op over the Baltic, he said, as for flying in a multinational environment, well, that's normal for us aircrew. After one or two familiarization flights, the small differences were addressed. You've got to remember, pilots trained to operate in a multinational environment pretty much from the beginning of our careers. And that's just a flavour of the sort of activity that Typhoons and EF-2000s from across the NATO alliance have been engaged in in recent years. And we'll see further reflection of that in our NATO flypast coming up later in today's programme. But now coming in to land at the end of his first REACT display, that was Hauptmann Alex Stegmeier of the German Air Force's Taktisches Luftwaffengeschwader 74 with the Eurofighter EF-2000. And so, as the Tiger EF-2000 rolls out, we come to one of the absolute stars of this weekend's show, a European debut, 